what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna take a hands-on look at jailbreaking iOS 12.2. So in this video, we're diving into this jailbreak a little bit deeper and like I said, doing a hands-on demo. So two major updates that I wanted to let you guys know of before performing the jailbreak process. You actually have two options now on iOS 12.1.3 to iOS 12.2. Uncover has officially been released. It's out of beta stages. Version 3.3.0 is now live on the on-device platforms like Tweakbox and Ignition and things like that. Also, you have Chimera that has also been updated to include support for iOS 12.1.3 to iOS 12.2. Now, you guys might be wondering, why am I performing this demo on a 6S Plus and not on a newer device? Well, Uncover, right now in its current state, only supports A9 through A11 devices. So that is the iPhone 6S all the way up to the iPhone 10. A12 support for the latest generation devices is not supported on either jailbreak utility yet, so the iPhone XS Max, XS, and XR cannot be jailbroken on iOS 12.1.3 or above. Now, just as this morning, if you guys own an A7 or A8 device like an iPhone 5S or an iPhone 6, you are actually in luck. A7 and A8 support are now in beta testing stages on the Chimera jailbreak. Pwned Own is also working on an update for the Uncovered Jailbreak utility to include support for these devices. Unfortunately, A12 may take a little bit longer. Anyway, with that being said, you have two utilities to choose from, either Chimera or Uncover. Now, they both work perfectly fine throughout my testing. Really, the major difference is Uncover is going to ship with Cydia, and Chimera is going to ship with Celio. Well, let's just go ahead and start off with the jailbreaking process. Again, just make sure you guys have a supported device, and make sure you have a supported firmware. Anyway, you can check that in the settings app by going to general about, as you guys can see, I'm currently on iOS 12.2. So we're all good here. I have a supported device and I'm running a supported firmware. My battery's a little bit low, but we're gonna ride with that. Well, on second thought, I might actually plug this into a charger. Not required, just make sure you guys have enough battery to actually jailbreak. All right, so step one, you're gonna go ahead and download an on-device signing platform. Now, the download links are located in this video's description or up in the top right in your cards now. So you can use either Ignition or Tweakbox. From my personal experience, Ignition usually has the latest updates quicker. So you basically go into that application, locate either the Chimera or Uncovered Jailbreak Utility, whichever one you want to use. I would just double check the version right here, make sure that's the latest before you actually install. But to install, you just click Get right there, and then click Install. Now I've done this with both jailbreak utilities ahead of time because we're gonna be doing both in this video. Anyway, let's go ahead and start out with Uncover. Now, once they're downloaded, before we can actually open these, we have to go into the Settings app, navigate to General, Profiles and Device Management, and trust that developer certificate right there. I guess it's already trusted since I did that for the actual Ignition application. Anyway, once that's all trusted, now we can actually launch the jailbreak utility. So that's what Uncover has looked like. I went over the new UI in my previous video. It looks pretty sweet. Just so you guys can see, this is what the Chimera jailbreak utility looks like. But we're gonna go ahead and jailbreak with Uncover first. Anyway, to jailbreak, we just simply tap jailbreak and it says jailbreaking and says the system snapshot has been successfully renamed. The device will now be restarted. So once we're back online, we're gonna go into the jailbreak utility one more time, tap jailbreak once again. So there we have it guys, jailbreak completed. We can go ahead and click okay and our device is going to respring and that was super quick. And as you guys can see, now Cydia is on the home screen. Again, this is on iOS 12.2. I scroll down to the very bottom, right there you can see iOS 12.2. Here, I'll go ahead and pull that up a little bit closer to the camera so everyone can see what version I'm on. Cydia is running perfectly fine. Now, right after jailbreaking, one thing that I like to do is just install any updates that could be there, and uh, we'll give this a second to finish up, and then we can just click return to Cydia. 
And that's pretty much it, guys. That's the entire jailbreak process with Uncover. Again, Cydia is running perfectly fine. So let's try to install a tweak. I'm going to install Snapback so I can revert back to stock iOS while saving my Uncover setup, but then I'm going to test out the Chimera jailbreak utility so you guys can get a gist of what both look like. So there we have it, Snapback installed perfectly fine. We have the ORIGFS, now that is the original file system snapshot, reverting us back to stock iOS. I'm just gonna create a snapshot right here called Uncover, click save, and then I'm going to plug my device in because it's kind of dying right now, but I'm going to restore back to stock iOS very quickly. All right, so we're back online after restoring the root file system. Now we're back on stock iOS, so let's take a look at the Chimera jailbreak utility. Again, this is typically what it looks like, the same thing you would expect. There's no option to change the exploit because there's only one for iOS 12.1.3 to iOS 12.2. Now, the really interesting thing with the Chimera jailbreak utility is I highly doubt this is gonna apply to you, but they updated it to support iOS 12.3 betas, all the way up to beta three, I believe. So if you guys happen to be running an iOS 12.3 beta, you can actually jailbreak on iOS 12.3. Now, just to clarify, this does not apply to the final build of iOS 12.3 only the first three betas. Anyways, let's take a look at the Chimera jailbreak utility. I'm gonna go ahead and tap jailbreak, and it looks like we are off and running. And now we're on to the respring. So all in all, it looks like the Chimera jailbreak utility ran a little bit faster, and if I go ahead and swipe over, there we have it, Celio on the home screen. I'll go ahead and launch that up. So you guys can see the differences. Again, two different package managers. They all do the exact same thing. It's really up to you as the jailbreaker to choose which one you want to use. Anyway, once again, under packages, we'll go ahead and upgrade all right there. Go into queued and click confirm just to get that out of the way. Anyway, that's the latest news I have for you guys. Both Celio and Cydia are running perfectly fine on iOS 12.2. Super impressive work by both jailbreak developers in this community. Anyway guys, official A7 and A8 support is going to be coming relatively soon to both jailbreak utilities. So if you guys are on a very old device like that, you will soon be getting a jailbreak on these newer firmwares. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated if there's any news pertaining to an A12 iOS 12.2 jailbreak, but it sounds like we're going to need a new PAC bypass to be released before that is attainable. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Again, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. We're gonna have some more awesome jailbreak content coming later this week, so stay tuned. But until next time, this is Tony, signing out.